And I just arrived at the University of Arizona. I'm gonna go skate around with my kids. So you can see my note and my phone, and that is Gold Simpson right up there. So I have a feeling that one of those antennas up on top of that building is a, uh, associated with a Laura Wan gateway. So that kind of gives you perspective on why I can ping it from where I live because it's so high up in the valley. So she's carrying the note as we walk around and I'm taking a few pictures. Gould Simpson is back that way behind those buildings and no I cannot see it but yes I still have reception as I uh, as I walk down this little pathway. Okay, folks, so I'm over by the Student Union, and uh, I do have um, telemetry here. Gould Simpson is way off in the distance in that direction. Actually, you can see the building right there. So what I'm curious about is what would happen if I walked into the Student Union, uh, basically stood behind some of these buildings uh, or in some of these hallways. I wonder if I'd still be able to uh, talk to the gateway. Okay, so I'm in the student union and you can see that there still is telemetry taking place here. I wonder what would happen if I went down the stairwell. Let's see. This would kind of uh, simulate me being in a wash. Isolated from my gateway up on a hill somewhere. And let's see what happens here. and it did receive a packet. So the gateway is like way the heck out there. And I'm kind of isolated in this, uh, in this hole in, in the campus, but I can still talk to the gateway. So I just walked down this hallway and reception was a little spotty, but it was possible. So there you go. So definitely getting some path loss, I'm sure. But I am managing to, uh, to get some telemetry in here. All right, folks. So I thought I'd just take a pause real quick uh, to smell the roses and uh, Gould Simpson is behind these buildings back over here, and I am still getting telemetry, even on the ground, uh, which is pretty amazing. So. And you can see that even having the uh, box on the ground uh, realizes a little bit of telemetry. Not as great as having it a little bit elevated, but then again, I do need to shoot through all these buildings and vegetation, so... But it does seem to be working. And it's got this little walkway that goes along the, uh, the, the bottom floor that's recessed beneath the ground level. So I'm gonna go over to the other side and see if I can ping anything uh, being beneath ground level and on the other side of the building. Okay, and I did, did manage a little telemetry. And Gould Simpson is actually completely out of view in that general direction. So there must be some reflectance taking place off of some of these adjacent buildings. Keep walking. Now I'm gonna be on the other side of the building altogether. So let's set it down right here. And you can see that I'm completely blind to Gould Simpson, actually be in that direction over there. And I am receiving packets. And that's the view directly in front of me. So there's probably some reflectance taking place off of that building, hitting this antenna and realizing a little telemetry for me. So if you guys have any ideas how I can harness the power of an 11 year old to do my Laura node experiments, let me know because there's a lot of power to be harnessed there.
So here you can see the overall path that we took today. This is my gateway right here. This is me driving down Sweetwater, coming down Silverbell, and then eventually making it to the University of Arizona near downtown Tucson. And the interesting thing is, is that on the drive down, you can see that I did ping that green and yellow dot off of the uh, Gould Simpson building on the way down. So. That Laura Gateway is ideally positioned with all that elevation to, uh, to really realize a lot of coverage for the community. So yeah, we got the rack wireless deployment up here. Um, we originally set this up as a kind of beta test for campus to use. So it really isn't in a permanent home for the location yet. Although this is gonna be our ideal location for this, this particular one. Oh, why does it have four antennas? <laughs> it's got, uh, oh, I have to look up the specs again. It's been forever since I've installed this. It's got two of them specifically for LoRaWAN. Uh, and then I believe GPS, which actually might be this guy down here. I see uh, 4G Wi-Fi, 4G LTE. So oh, there it is. Yeah, so you've only got a little 3.0 3 DVI antenna. On this yeah, thing. and it's uh, it still gets a business out of it, just mainly out of the location it's at. Yeah, I think your location is what matters here. Oh, that's awesome. All right, let me get a picture of the view. <laughs> so this is what you want. Let's see, this is where I live. I've been pinging it from over there. Is, uh, as it was demonstrated here, if you want really good coverage, that's the way to do it. Uh, get your antenna up at a high point with good visibility of the area that you want to cover. Um, don't put it inside your, your bedroom window <laughs> uh, near the ground. That up there will perform much better for you if you can manage it.